What's up guys, thanks for joining another episode of Cars, Bikes, and Coffee. I am Kurt and we are working on the 1974 Datsun 260Z. And one of the problems, if you've seen the video when we were tearing down the L26 engine, was we had three stuck pistons and that was because of rust, it sat outside. And so we were gonna send it to the machine shop for them to fix it. But what's the fun in that? So stay tuned, we're gonna try and do it ourselves. So if you've seen in our video of the L26 teardown, you saw we used another product to soak the pistons and the rings to see if that would free it up. We let it sit for a few days and didn't have any luck. So I read online that some people have had luck with this product, Metal Rescue, which is from Workshop Hero. And this isn't a paid endorsement of this product. I just thought I'd give it a try. So it says it's safe on everything except rust and it is a claim to be a safe product that you don't need to wear gloves when using it. It doesn't have any VOCs, no solvents, no acids. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out to the block that's outside. We're gonna let it soak and see how it does. Now there are a couple things that we need to be aware of. This is not safe on magnesium. So if there is magnesium in the pistons, then it'll destroy them. In our case, we're gonna get rid of the pistons anyways, so we don't really care what happens to them. We just need to get those pistons out. So we're out of the block and you can see we've got this piston rusted and the sleeve as well. This one's pretty bad. This one is stuck. So what we're gonna do is just lightly for these three is just Go around the edges carefully with the pick tool. Now once again, we're getting rid of these pistons. We will be boring these out just a little bit. I'm not too concerned about the score of the sleeve. Obviously there's a lot of damage to these already. Now what I am going to do, I've decided that since the walls are pretty rusted, I'm gonna go ahead and add the Rust Rescue and then add a little bit of water so that way I can fill up the cavities and then work a little bit on the rust as well on the sides to help ease out the piston. All right, so we've now filled up the piston cavity with some water and the metal rescue. And now we're gonna just let that sit for about 48 hours. Key thing here is it's hot right now in California. It's above 90 degrees. And this product is suggested to be at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit uh, or above. So we are good. So we're gonna let that sit for a couple days. So now we're taking a look a day in, about 24 hours. And you can see how it's now turned to black and that's what we wanna see. Water has gone down just a little bit. So we're gonna keep it going for another day. All right, so now we're looking at day two. 48 hours in, and it looks pretty much the same as it did yesterday. So what we want to do is maybe tap on the pistons and see if we get some movement. So I don't know if you caught that, but number three piston went down, so we got some movement there, so that's good. So now, let's leave it for another day. Now we're at day four, and what we're gonna do now is just drain these cylinders out of the metal rescue and see if we can tap a little bit more on the pistons to get them to move. All right, so we got these pistons all loosened up. We had to do some flipping and bashing it with the two by four and a soft blow hammer. But we got them down so now what we want to do is just kind of scrape away these high points of the rust and just to make it a little bit smoother so those pistons can come right out so we're going to use maybe a knife like a jack knife just to scrape away some of these high points and see if that'll get them out So we've 
scraped out the cylinder walls pretty well and what we want to do now is just go ahead and spray each cylinder with some WD-40 or a lubricant. That way we can flip the block upside down and then pound these pistons out. So now we have the engine flipped over and what we did is we made this little 2x4 notched so it will span over the connecting rod and hit the pistons on the sides here so that way we get a nice square uniform hit. So we got those three pistons out thankfully and in a large part thanks to Metal Rescue. I'll leave a link down below so you can pick some up if you're in the same position. So we have much more content coming up on the 260Z so make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like, make sure you share it and thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.